yo le voy a contar las experiencias que yo tuve. Es muy doloroso contar eso porque a veces uno ya no se quiere acordar de... I'll tell you about my experience. It's very painful to talk about this because you'd rather forget about the problems you've had. What happened to me is not the first case. There are thousands and thousands of cases in Guatemala that have occurred and that are happening now. And sometimes you ask yourself, who is going to fix the situation in Guatemala? It is really difficult. Y de primero, pues, mi hijo me dijo, mire, quiero ayudarlo, pues, en una tienda. First, my wife told me, I want to help you run a store. And then at one point, the store was robbed. They jumped over the counter because back then they didn't have the bars that they use today for security. My wife and a family member were there. They pointed a gun at them and said they wanted the money from the sales, and they gave it to them. Afterwards, I got a loan from the company to install the security bars. Things were going more or less well at the store. We were getting by. And then other people showed up and demanded money from my store. They wanted 50 quetzales per week. I said, I have to pay it. Now, why do you pay it instead of going to the police? You do it because you're afraid. You should report it, but the police don't do anything. I remember when I had the store, there was a law that you couldn't sell liquor after 8 p.m., so I closed up and told these men, at 8 p.m. you can't sell anything because the police will come and I don't want trouble. But they stayed there. I turned off the lights, they stayed talking, I closed everything. And the police came and knocked on the door, and he asked me, are you selling liquor here? I said, I sold it to them, but I'm not selling anymore. He said, you'll have to come with me. There were about seven policemen. I said, but why, if I'm not doing anything wrong? Give me your ID card, he told me. I thought, if I refuse, there'll be problems. I gave him my ID. Look. He said, you'll have to come with me because you were breaking the law. No, I wasn't doing anything wrong. He said, okay, let's do something to settle this. Give me 600 quetzales and we'll leave it at that. I had 500 quetzales, not from the store. I had to give it to him out of my pocket to avoid problems. I remember one day when my daughter told me, Dad, I was robbed. She was crying. I told her, I already told you not to leave work so late because it's dangerous where we live. No, she said, it happened here. She told me they'd put a gun to her head and told her she had to give them 50 quetzales per week. So I decided to close the store because I had no choice. My wife was upset and started to cry. Oh, my store, she said to me. Later, they demanded a tax for the house. And when they threatened me, they said, we're from organized crime, we're going to protect you, we want 10,000. In one or two hours, we want the money. Half an hour later, they called again, asking if we had the money. I told them we didn't. And they told me that the man who's going to pick up the money is so-and-so, he has a mustache, this is the phone number, and they gave me all the instructions about how to hand over the money. If I'm being extorted, I'm not going to risk talking to the police. I remember that man who called told me, we know you're going to go to the police and report it. They'll protect you for three months, and then in three months, we'll show up and something is going to happen to you. So you're not going to wait around for something to happen to you. It's better to avoid problems. And so we had to get out of our house. And now, instead of having our own property, we're renting. My wife used to be really fat, and then she got really skinny. When she died, she was worse. She had cancer, but she also died of sadness. I've talked about this with my daughters. It was very hard for me, because we were together for 41 years. Look at the drug trafficking. Who's in charge of the gangs? The drug traffickers call the shots with the gangs. That's what I think is happening. 
It is very difficult to talk about these things, but someone has to hear it. Someone has to do something for Guatemala. The government doesn't do anything. They don't do anything. 